So we're going to be using the United States dollar. Now note that the general accounting will be similar if you're in other other countries to use like your 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 home currency will be like your your default currency. It gets a little uh, complicated when you're dealing with transactions in multiple currencies, meaning you have a home currency and then you have transactions in other currencies because then you've got this exchange kind of issue. So you would only turn on multiple currencies lets you track transactions in foreign currencies. Uh, use it only if you have bank account customers or vendors that don't use your home currency. So note what you can do here. You can set your home currency to whatever home currency is applicable and that's fine. But if you have transactions in multiple currencies, then that's when you have to turn this on. And I don't think you can turn it back off once you turn it on, although it just adds some fields a little a little gets things a little bit more messy but not too big of an issue but uh we, i think we have a whole course on that if you want to dive into into that as well 